Right, this is a 2009, is it 2009, Mark? 2009. 2009 Fiat Ducato based uh, Heimer motorhome. And the fault light's on. See what it is. Throttle actuator. So there's a bit of history on that and I'll add that in a bit later on. So the fault code is the throttle throttle body and uh, I'm going to I'm going to do this video in little pieces and stitch them all together so I'm going to take this cross member out it's a six mil bolt six mil bolt six mil bolt eight mil bolt for the radiator a couple of six mils here and the same thing over there that'll give us access right the cross member is out of the way still attached to the cable and we just kind of fed it around and got it stood on there stood on a box because it won't reach the floor so this is the throttle throttle body we had this off the other day uh, and cleaned it out and it didn't work so we've had to buy a new one and uh, I'll show you how that goes this is 10 minutes work to get to this stage so far okay so it's four bolts to get the thing out one two three four uh, this one was stripped i had this off the other day to clean it out so the thread and the manifold are stripped on this one so you that's all it is four bolts the sun's over everything can't see much can we martin because of the sun let's move around here that's the old one here's the new one Um, so it didn't need cleaning out. Diesels don't need a throttle body. This is not for um, uh, anything other than controlling the manifold pressure so that the EGR works. And it comes with a piece of wiring loom. Now the interesting thing is there's only three wires on this. There's four on the loom on the van. But this does all cross-reference with the, with the part numbers. That's made by Waller, which is uh, Borg Warner. I'm just gonna check the part number for it. So the original is a 7523D. That's the part number for that. It's still available. It's, um, oh, it's over 300 euros. Uh, this one was, how much was this one, Martin? 303. How, how much? 303 pounds. 303? Yeah. Wow. So that was, 303 because it came with that if you get the one without without this because uh, maybe yours has already had the modification and now you don't need that then it's about 30 quid less for some reason this is quite an expensive piece of kit this loom so my next problem is to sorry about the poor editing but you're not interested in that oh you just want to know how to get your, your machine fixed these holes are not blind, they're through holes. And what happens is the bolt rusts. See, everything's gone rusty, it's all bone dry. So the bottom of the bolt rusted, and when I took it out, it tore all the thread out. Even though I worked it backwards and forwards for quite a while, backwards and forwards, quarter of a turn, half a turn. The other three came out. That's what I got them out with. Cracked them off with that and then spun them out with that second time round because I'd greased them when I put them back in. So cleaning the throttle body doesn't work. I'm gonna sort this thread out here. I don't know if there's room underneath to drill it through. Uh, no, I can't drill it out. There's something underneath it. I'll have to see what I can do. Okay, on the new one, before you screw it down, you've got to take this elbow off. It's three Torx 20s. I'll just give that to my assistant. And you've got to take that off because you can't get to that, that bolt there to put that in. Or if you're taking one out, which is the same style as this and not the same as the, the one on this van, then you're still gonna to have to take that off. But you just can't get in there. Um, 
you can't even get your fingers in there to start it by hand. Right, so I've nipped, I've nipped that one up now. Sorry about the bad editing, it's all squeezed in again. Right, so I've, I've nipped that one up. That one's very tricky to get to. That one's easy to get to, and I've got to do some sort of a bodge on that. But don't forget, make sure you fill this in, put masking tape over it or something. You don't want to drop a bolt or a fitting or a socket or anything down there. So, says me about to drop something down there. Hold on, let me get that off. Put that up there. That'd be a nightmare, Martin, wouldn't it, if that went down in the engine? So there's my socket. That's the 13 mil, quarter, quarter inch drive and one of them. So if you've got this style on your van already that you're changing, you're gonna need that to get it out. Good luck to you. So this plastic elbow is held on with three Torx 30s, which you can just undo with a screwdriver. So I've got to say the original factory one was very much easier to get off. Now here's an issue now. This is the original loom on the van and it does fit in that plug. So I don't know why it was supplied with that. It's only got three wires. The original loom's got four, but I understand that the fourth wire in here is just disconnected further back up the loom. Um, I've lifted this cover thinking that maybe I can unplug this, unplug this one and plug the new factory one in sort of up here somewhere but there's nothing, it just disappears into the loom. Um, so possibly what this is doing is maybe, maybe reorientating those three wires inside the loom. Maybe the connections are different. So I'm not gonna fit that straight onto there. I'm gonna put that bit in. <laughs> okay, so the loom just plugs into there. This is a three pin cable and it plugs into there. Uh, I was tempted to just plug that straight into there because it would have fitted the original loom, but um, I don't know whether the signal wire and the feed to the motor is gonna be the same way around. Could end up putting 12 volts onto the signal wire and burning it out. So I've used the loom that's supplied. They supplied it for a reason. Now my next little job is to sort out the damaged thread down there. Right, my solution to this, which had the thread pulled out on the manifold, uh, this, this hole here is an open hole at the bottom. So the corrosion built up on the original bolt and when I pulled it out, it took some of the thread with it. So I could have, bearing in mind I'm working on the side of the road here, uh, in a workshop you drill that out and put a helicoil thread in there, or you could put a stud in there, but if you put a stud in that restricts access, you know, you've got to bring it in dead straight down, you can't slide it out. So what I've done is I've put a bolt in, which is longer than the original. It's gone right down to the end of the uh, open hole. And I'll put a nut on it as well. And now I just tighten up that nut, like that. And that's got it pinched. Yeah, that's at least as tight as the original. <clears throat> We're gonna give it a start in a minute and uh, see what happens. So just to go over this again, diesels don't have a throttle in the same way that a petrol does. The engine speed on a diesel is controlled by the amount of diesel you inject into it. Uh, but because they don't have any manifold vacuum, uh, that makes it tricky when you want to recirculate exhaust gas. <clears throat> so the throttle closes off, you get a manifold vacuum develop, and then the exhaust gas can be recirculated for emission controls. There's probably other reasons for it as well, but um, yeah, the throttle has, and it, it also kills it dead. When you turn the engine off, it shuts it dead rather than the old fashioned shuddering and shaking like they used to do. But it's got nothing to do with the acceleration of the engine or the performance of the engine. That all comes from the amount of fuel injected. Okay, so just to go over this again, that code's a very common code. It comes up with the throttle, uh, throttle position actuator. Um, the original one is available and it's a much easier thing to swap over, but it's very expensive. And this cross references, we bought the one with the wiring extension loom, although it doesn't need an extension because the original loom will fit into there, but I fitted it anyway because I 
I suspect that these are crossed over inside the loom somewhere. There isn't a plug under here where we can plug it back in, it just disappears in the loom. And um, various forums have said that quite often it's corrosion inside the plug, well this is perfectly clean, or it's corrosion under the fuse box, under there. So what we've done is instead of um, starting to pull the wire and loom apart, getting under the fuse box, because this is all very tight in a camper van, look. As you can see, there's not much room and I'm working on the side of the road. We've really just gone for changing this unit. It's not the way I'd like to generally fault find. I tend to want to find the actual fault before I buy anything. But um, as these are so commonly available and the forums are saying that so many of them have been changed, we're going to go with this. And at least then my mate's got something for his money, the most likely cause of the failure for his money. If after that we've got to start poking about in the wiring loom, then um, uh, what are you going to do, Martin? Go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to start it up now and see if the light goes out. Well, it looks like it's fixed, so I don't tend to diagnose faults by just changing whatever the fault code reader said. I like to find out exactly what the problem is. But in this case, um, this vehicle's so big, he'd have had a problem getting it in anywhere where they would be able to do live data and check um, waveform shapes and all sorts of other stuff. So went with the most likely cause, it seems to have paid off. That's the part, made by Febby. There you go. And this is a 2009 3 litre, 160 horsepower Fiat Ducato engine. Um, I would say a top tip for this is to chuck away the four bolts that hold the throttle body in and replace them with four bolts with a Torx head or an Allen head. <clears throat> that will really make your life a lot easier when you go to put it back together. And they're M8 and the length of the thread is 25 millimeters of thread below the head. So that really would speed things up and make it a lot better if you had to take it off in the future. Yeah, it's all done. The light would have been on by now. So the whole job, start to finish, the whole job, um, you could do this whole job start to finish in an hour if you don't have a strip thread on that manifold. And I would say probably you could knock another 10 minutes off that if you replace those bolts with Allen bolts or Torx bolts.